today we're driving up through the beautiful country lanes from Brighton to Farncombe. We'd normally get the train which is about an hour and a quarter but today we have to take out the old cooker and bring it back and do a couple of other jobs and it's always a nice drive anyway. In a quarter of a mile at the roundabout take the first exit onto High Street A286. in the water there. Oh, it's mucky on here. I can get rid of all these leaves now that they've all fallen. Uh, wonder what temperature it is. Oh, it's five degrees. Chilly, chilly. Never mind, the boathouse has this fantastic little well, bistro that looks like a Christmas box inside. So, mince pie and hot cup of tea it is. Well, all warmed up, we're going to wend our way down to Godalming, which is really just a very short trip. We just have to go through one lot and I'm turn the down off. about half a mile, if that down to the wharf at the bottom we just have to figure getting ourselves out because we're okay. right in at the bank and there's a boat on our flank so we're maneuvering out now The idea was for Henry to hold onto the bow line and flick it across our roof while I came out underneath it, but he's had to, well, he had to let go of it um, and mindful of it being in the water and maybe fouling our prop, I had to steer out with one hand and scoop out of the water to chuck to him from behind. Yes. But that's okay, we managed. Putting the 
other boat back in again. <laughs> sure how we were going to get out of there. <laughs> they pack them in, don't they? They do. Are you, do you more then? Yes. Yeah. yeah. This is about the only journey we can do, isn't it, for another week or so? It's a cap and cup out of action, isn't it? Till the 29th, yeah. I think. Hopefully they'll do it by then. You're here just over the winter, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Do you more here all year yes. then? Oh, ah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, two months it took. I can you imagine? It's not quite a bit of catching up to do this year. <laughs> you painted it yourself? Yeah, yeah, two months it took. I can you imagine? <laughs> not a bit well, did it? The painting was alright, I didn't mind it, but I had to take all the primer off. Right. And that was the worst job I've ever These locks can be a bit hectic. Right, needing the front, shouldn't I? Just tie the back off. Yeah. Um, just need to shut the gate. Yeah, I'll go up and get the gate shut now. Thank you. Oh, cheers. Oh, You'll survive. <laughs> Which is the best pub in Godalming then? You know, I actually. We've been told the one's further away. Right. Better. Let's go right to the end and down. Yeah. Maybe we'll try them all. Yeah. Yeah, on the way. <laughs> I don't. I haven't been to a lot of them. Right. we run down to Godalming, I take the opportunity to throw together a nice venison stew which uh, can go into the wonder bag until this evening. I'm just going to start it off on the induction hob while we're producing electricity from the engine. The venison came from our local Brighton butcher um, one of them actually went out and shot it in East Grinstead where they have to cull a certain amount of the deer because uh, they become a pest otherwise. So it's very good meat and it needs a long slow cook so putting it in the wonder bag for about six hours is absolutely perfect. If you haven't used a wonder bag before, they are brilliant inventions. You get together your stew or casserole, and in this case it's lots of root vegetables. I've soaked some wild mushrooms, um, and I'm going to add in there miso and some peri-peri seasoning. And you bring it to the boil and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. You don't put too much liquid in because it doesn't evaporate. Once it's been simmering for 15 minutes, then you switch off the electricity and you pop it in the wonder bag and tie it up and you leave it for anything from four hours plus. So the amount of energy you use is tiny.
to Godalming to see what the pub's got to offer as it's Friday night. Godalming took its name from Godhelm Ingus, which means the clan of Godhelm. And he was probably a Saxon chieftain who first colonised this land around 800 AD, although there had been a Roman hill fort here before then. It stands on the River Way, and Way was the Celtic name for river, so it was the River River. And these are the Lammas lands which run down the side of the river way into Godalming and they're a floodplain which helped to protect Godalming from flooding. This is Godalming Wharf which would have been a hive of activity in days gone by for coke and coal and timber and gunpowder. Team effort here, isn't it? They've all... And this pepper pot stands on the site of the old market house, which housed uh, French prisoners during the Napoleonic Wars. And we're winding our way down this rather Dickensian looking street, looking for the Star Inn, which is the oldest surviving pub down here. I think there used to be about eight pubs just in this street alone. It's the only one left. Aha, there it is. Ooh, here's the pub. And so back to the boat and finish off our stew and I'm just going to add um, some prunes, some sprouts and a rather nice can of IPA and then the whole lot will go back into the wonder bag after I've brought it back to the boil, give it another 20 minutes and that's it all ready. And we're going to get it out and then see if we can get it through the door. Well, it was tight getting it in, wasn't it? Yeah, I've taken all the front stuff off, so that should make a difference. But it's going to have to go through uh, probably on on the um, the worktop. Okay. Um, should we get the radiator in first so it's not in the way? radiator is going to go down there Henry was going to make another one from copper but it's quite pricey at the moment and takes a while so we've bought a bog standard screw fix one which I shall paint oops better give my hand
And just as we were figuring how to get it over the icy boat next door, Dean came along and lifted it as if it was nothing and took it off our hands. Okay, you got the chimney cut to size then. The flue, I mean. Yeah, yeah, not too bad, really. You found with a trusty hacksaw. <laughs> That'll be the last time, hopefully. We have to take that apart for a while. Mm. The old flue's got quite a lot of tar in it, hasn't it? So we need to get one of those burny bricks that turn it to clinker, I think. Yeah. And a little brush. Ooh, we shall have fire. Done. Ooh. Bit of mess still here and there, but never mind. I'll do that. Easy to fix. And that's the door. <laughs> so we can take that off. Okay, little Allen key to get it off. Yeah, I think I'll probably change that for some kind of a wing nut. Okay, yeah, good it's idea. Not a great plan that. So yeah. Good, good. So we've got that done, and we have got. Oh, yep radiator in place which chucks out loads of heat and our oven in place and the next job then is to build it up on a shelf and to put some side walls in because there's quite a draft comes through there so that's been quite a productive few days yeah all right well that'll be it for this video so see you on the next one Bye, Henry. Bye. <laughs>